hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video uh, you have seen like I have how I have created a alert box so in the previous video I have not completed the CSS part and uh, so today I'm going to tell you uh, this is the CSS part and what and all changes I did so if I'll go to the alert box in the HTML we having a border button and title header and the color of this one this is the text color so here you can see this is the text color and this is the background so that is come from the title header I made it as a global so if you'll see here inside this title header I made this color and alert box is a uh, overflow hidden and message size is 15 so which you can see this is the size of uh, message okay so that I'm going to utilize in the next uh, confirm alert box as well so what we'll do we'll create one so today our target is to how you can make as a confirm alert box okay so let's see let's start what I will do I will create inside this one ng generate component confirm alert okay hyphen hyphen skip for import So it will take some time to generate a component over here just wait a moment so yeah here you can see this is the confirm alert box here is the HTML part and these are all the component file okay so what I will do I will just copy the same code okay I will paste it down here for the confirm as well okay similarly what and all we have to do here is just go to the ts file of it copy from here to there just I'm reducing the time okay so you can do type as well not a issue so instead of this alert box I need to put as a confirm alert box because we are going to take the reference of it let's import the mat dialog reference inject as well and my dialog data as well so once this is got imported so here we need a two button okay so I'll copy the both button I'll paste it down here so one button will be as a no and the next button will be S this is what we are looking for as a confirmed right so confirm no I'll put this name this function and for s I will call this one if it is s then I will make as a true so I will call this one if it is no then I will make as a false if you have not watched the previous video please go and watch then you will understand what I am trying to tell here is okay so this is the confirm red box and this is the uh, confirm s and no so in the confirm alert box we will have a two uh, uh, button click so according to that we are going to uh, use the two function over there so let's come and I have escaped that import so I have to import as well so that error will go off so confirm confirm alert box component I have imported if you'll go to HTML now so the error will go off just wait a moment yeah okay not here in the confirm alert box okay so this is looks fine so now what we have to do we have to create a one module so just type as a ng generate m as a m for module so that will be the confirm alert correct Similarly, if you'll go to the alert box module, here we having a this one, right? So what I will do, I will copy this complete code. Just wait a moment, it will create a module as well. So here you can see the module has got created. And I will paste it inside this one. So we have to import the mat dialog references observable from RGS and instead of this one we have to put as a confirm confirm alert box component this 
this need to be import okay this is looks fine so now what how we are opening this alert box if you'll go to the ui once i click on the open dialog box we are opening this dialog box right so same place i will use similarly so just go to the dialog box component instead of calling this one i will make a copy of it and i'll comment this okay let me comment this and before of it we have to import as well right so come here and you import your public that will be our what is that confirmed module confirm that I will take from confirm module correct I will use a underscore to make as a unique so just go down and instead of dialog you make it this one and I will make a different name so that will be identified instead of this one okay so just go to the dialog box component again and on this one you just open this one okay so this is the input we are going to send and we are setting the 450 pixel for this one so I will subscribe this from this subscriber we will get as a result right so according as per the dialog set value we will get a response function okay so what we will tell if the result is true then do the sum operation as you want if no then I will return it okay this is looks fine make a sequence of it now looks fine so I will tell what we are going to do how we make as a confirm alert box right so that scenario I will tell you so now if you'll go to the UI just open it I think there is a some console error yeah so I will go to here the reason is I have not imported that module we have to import the confirm confirm alert box module put a comma here now check now you can see the pages get load so once you are clicking over here so we are calling this open dialogs method function and in this one you can see what the input is we are sending as a info and inform inform so whatever the text is there in the JSON according to that it is going to be translate the message we have is just inform you and the second is let's copy this and paste it in the console to see properly so the title we have a info and message is just inform you right so it's going to be check in the our module so if it is got open so here we are sending as an input so input having a message and title and width we are sending as a 450 so that's gonna be set let's continue so here you can see this is the dialog ref so we are setting to the dialog box so here you can see the message data we have and you can see the title you can see the message as well so once it is got assigned so here we have the message right so according to that we are binding to the HTML confirm alert box component HTML okay so if you are not understanding anything please go ahead and watch the previous video so you will get to know what and all I have made
directly if you are watching this one you will get confused so make the screen down now so here you can see there is a two button whatever the uh, message is there so that is visible here so I will click on S on click on S we need this one right so I will show you what result we are getting so let's come here okay so now what we will do we will click on S once you click on S the result is true so according to true and false we are going to take the operation of it for example just go here so what I will do I will do the operation for example delete update insert anything you want to do okay so in this case I am going to use this dot toaster something I have added notification I have notification dot success or error I will show and then I am going to tell key make the translation of is this dot underscore translation translate dot get I will call that method name underscore is not without underscore we are using let me remove that underscore so always it's supposed to have a unique name so then you will get to know otherwise you will get confused so now here we will pass our uh, message so instead of showing this one so what I will do I will copy this message only okay so this message I have sent it it is expecting one more value so I will set as a one more so T I missed it I have to remove the underscore right so now looks fine so if you we'll go to UI now so what we are going to do here is just see once so now we are going to open the alert box once it is got open we are going to do a accents over here right so on click on s what we are doing here see if the result is true we are calling this notification which have a error uh, warning like error, error is the notification clear and that's gonna be translate so whatever we have in the inform so here you can see this is coming so instead of this notification you can write your logic to delete or update or you want to make anything to show to the user you can save the data if you want to remove so you have else condition and all so this operation you can do so according to your result value so if I click on no so what is happening so you can see here if I click on no so we have a result false so in the sense it's going to be called this else condition you can see it is going to be written here okay it is returning false value so in that condition if you don't want to send the data to the backend it will not send if you want to send so you have to call so again it is based on your requirement you can do oppositely also you can do whatever I am trying to tell here is okay so if you want to make any changes in the uh, alert box message alignment or anything you can make it as per your requirement I have shown you the uh, CSS as well if instead of as you can put as anything as you want confirm like that if you will put so see these all are like I am using with the translation and toaster also so everything is uh, if you have not gone through those video please go ahead and watch and then you will understand why I written as a translate over here and if you will open this one here you can see notification dot error so if I will click over here this is a toaster service this toaster service I made it what and all will be there so similarly uh, I also explain how you can create a uh, language translation as well if I do as it's language change so now you can see if the message having in the different so you can see now I mean to say like in Hindi also I kept as a that message only see here so instead of that one I will put as a something like this okay so in Hindi I am keeping this word right so what we'll do we'll just rephrase once 
change your browsing language open it again in Hindi that message also will get changed so here you can see in Hindi this is the message and close the dialog box open in English you can see this is your English so these are all I already I have told already I have explained one by one if you have not gone through those video please go ahead and watch and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it so you will get further uh, updates and uh, I am going to tell you one by one everything in the angular part so that will help in your future thank you